Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HTTP Test here. A few weeks ago, I introduced you guys to a new player in the 4K Ultra Short Show Laser Projector category, namely the Shik A5U from Chinese manufacturer Chang Hong, which was the first projector to feature Dolby Vision support. Unfortunately, since the publication of my review video, Dolby Laboratories has deemed the performance of the projector, just like all consumer projectors to date, inadequate to meet the Dolby Vision standard, so Dolby Vision support was removed from the A5U in a subsequent firmware update. Which brings us to this chic B5U we are reviewing today, which is the little brother to the A5U. The B5U has a more conventional rectangular design with a centrally mounted ultra short throw lens. Connections provided include two HDMI 2.0B ports, one of which supports ARC, as well as two USB ports for use with the internal media player. There is no lens shift or keystone correction on board, so manual positioning and adjusting the screwable fit will be necessary to properly align the projected image on screen. The Chic B5U is a 4K ultra short show laser projector, which is one of the fastest growing segments within the home theater industry. The laser light engine provides a longer lifespan and more stable colorimetry than lamp based projectors. Chang Hong themselves quote 25,000 hours of maintenance free operation. The ultra short throw form factor casts a 100 inch image from only 20 centimeters away from the screen which means you can place the projector very close to the screen and save space, without needing to see a shadow every time someone walks in front of the projector. Because of the angle at which light is projected diagonally, it will reveal even the slightest blemish on the wall, such as bumps, cracks, and paint residue, so it's advisable to use as flat a screen as possible to achieve a better picture. Here, we are using a motorized ALR screen from Vividstorm, but Chang Hong sells their own ALR screens too to go with the projector. Like almost every other 4K USD projector on the market, the B5U features a 0.47 inch DMD chip from Texas Instruments, which achieves 4K resolution via mirror flashing techniques. Note that this is a DLP projector, so some footage captured through our camera would exhibit rainbow effect or RBE. In real life, we didn't see any rainbow effect at all throughout our review period, but a handful of people are more sensitive to RBE than others, so your mileage may vary. Courtesy of the laser light source and ultra short throw distance, the Chic B5U delivered a brighter and punchier picture than any other lamp based 4K DLP projector at this price point. In a side by side comparison with the A5U, the B5U was slightly less bright. But as a bonus, the fan noise was also marginally quieter. Thankfully, both machines did not emit the high-pitched coil whine which plagued many other Chinese 4K USD projectors. The 2x10 watts speakers are functional, but for some sort of enjoyment, you would be better served by any semi-decent soundbar or home theater sound system. Chang Hong has streamlined the available picture settings in the user menu. There is still the light settings control in the system submenu you need to set correctly for your required light output before calibration. But there is no ability to adjust the color temperature at the level of the DLP chips. So just like all other Chinese 4K ultra short throw projectors, there is only one adjustable picture preset, which is my mode on the B5U. The Chic B5U is equipped with a color management system or CMS under the True Color submenu, but we found that it didn't improve color accuracy to any meaningful degree, so we left it untouched, using only the single point white balance controls for calibration. While the result wasn't the last word in color accuracy given the projector's limitations, at least our calibration brought forward a more natural looking image which you can hopefully see as we switched from the out-of-the-box picture modes ranging from standard and UMAX to game and SDR to HDR. Finally, onto the calibrated My Mode preset. By the way, if you purchase the B5U from our link in the YouTube description below, we will send you the calibrated settings we obtained on our review unit. 
there should be a coupon code to give you some discount too. Just email us your order number, but you need to make sure that you click specifically on our link below before buying, so that we can see your order in our backend and send you the calibrated settings. Many thanks for your understanding. The most accurate gamma setting on the B5U tracked closer to 2.2, which is more suitable for viewing in a room with some ambient lighting, rather than a dedicated bat cave. Uniformity was very clean on our review sample. Our camera managed to capture some color tinting down the sides, but they weren't visible at all in actual viewing. In terms of focus uniformity, the projected image looked sharp on our review unit except on the top right corner which was slightly blurrier. Chic projectors including the B5U are unique in offering motion compensated frame interpolation technology not currently found on other Chinese UST projectors, which is activated by the MEMC setting. Because the projector operates at 60Hz rather than 120Hz, it didn't increase motion resolution beyond the sample and hold baseline of 300 lines. Where the MEMC could help was to smooth out the 3 2 pull down judder in 24Hz films, since the projector has a native refresh rate of 60Hz, although engaging MEMC would also introduce some so opera effect or SOE which may put off purists. Additionally, Pushing MEMC all the way up to high could resolve the stutter in 50Hz material, but you may see interpolation artifacts such as shimmering or tearing in complex moving scenes. Otherwise, we witnessed the odd frame skipping on the B5U regardless of the source frame rate, but couldn't nail down the cause. It's unlikely that you'll be watching much standard definition content on a projector, but upscaling quality on the Chic B5U was surprisingly decent, retrieving nice detail from this SMPT RP133 test card in 576 resolution without excessive fizziness or ringing. The overscan terminology used by Chang Hong on the projector can be as confusing as the UK government's coronavirus lockdown strategy, so to clarify, the default setting of standard cropped away the borders of the image while switching to high disable the overscan. Like the A5U, the Chic B5U did not apply undefeatable noise reduction at sub 4K resolution, so film grain and fine detail would be faithfully preserved to reproduce the creator's intent. As I've said time and again, proper HDR presentation on projectors is very challenging, since they cannot reach the peak brightness of direct view displays. The Chic B5U no longer supports Dolby Vision, but Chang Hong has tweaked its HDR picture such that it looked more balanced without appearing too dim in terms of APL or average picture level. However, because there's no dynamic tone mapping technology on board, the B5U inevitably would clip some of the brightest specular highlight detail in 4000 nit content. When it came to white color gamut capabilities, this IP3 coverage came in at 84% UV, whereas REC 2020 was 65%. Gradation quality was good, adding no posterization to the sky of the Martian beyond what's already present in the movie. To measure input lag for playing games, we used the Buridio 7G test device which returned a lag time of 74 milliseconds for both 1080p SDR and 4K HDR video signals. While this figure is slightly lower than the circa 100 milliseconds seen on other Chinese 4K ultra structural projectors, it's still too sluggish for any self-respecting gamers to play fast reflex games. Let's sum up. Like all other Chinese 4K USD laser projectors we've tested to date, the Chic B5U carries many of the same flaws that will put off video enthusiasts, such as inaccurate colors, gamma locked to 2.2, and telecynic judder in 24 frames per second movies. To Chang Hong's credit though, the B5U still offers some advantages over its rivals, even after the removal of Dolby Vision support. The projector offers a motion compensated frame interpolation system to reduce judder for 24Hz and 50Hz content, and there's no undefeatable noise reduction for sub 4K material. The user menu is in English, and it's backed by a two year manufacturer's warranty with warehousing, customer service, and after-sales support handled from the UK. As mentioned earlier, 
If you purchase this projector from our link in the YouTube description below, we will send you the calibrated settings for the unit we review. It won't be as good as getting your projector calibrated in person, mainly because of screen variability, but it'll at least be better than factory default settings. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.